right, so a while ago, a student and friend of mine, Michael Bowie, recommended that I get a program called Song Surgeon. As a minimalist and as a skeptic, I don't look for more things to clutter up my computer, my house, and I don't believe everything works as well as I'm told it does. I went ahead, I bought it, and within just a few hours, I realized the potential that it had for my teaching practice. I have 24 students, several come twice a week, every single student except for four, so 20 of them, now have Song Surgeon. And I'm going to show you what I do when I'm figuring out a song, when I'm practicing a song, and when I'm teaching one of my students how to use the Song Surgeon program. Here is the solo. I like to take the voice reduction and use that first so I can isolate the guitar from other instruments and from vocals. Now that I've gotten the voice reduction where I want it and I can hear the guitar clearly, the next thing I like to do is I like to take the tempo and lower the tempo to something that's going to be especially if it has little fast runs in there, I can hear it note for note clearly. And sometimes note for note is not what you think it is. We're going to click this little back button here. It's going to take us back to where I marked a starting point only by taking my mouse and clicking. Now some of these you can use shortcuts on your keyboard. I'm just going to use my mouse for now. So you can watch the black line that gives you the time, 2 minutes, 43 seconds, and 3 one hundredths of a second. We're going to go back to 2 minutes, 32 seconds, 32 hundredths of a second. Just do that, the click of a switch. Now I'm going to lower the tempo. Now that I've lowered it, I'm ready to listen to it, learn it, teach it. Isn't it inconvenient when you're trying to learn a song and then you have to keep clicking, clicking, clicking? Well, this particular program has something that is really nice called a loop. I can take this, all my sound stuff, turn it into a visual, and I can be precise with running a loop. Here's where we're beginning. Here is where we're at now. We're not over with the solo yet, but I'm going to mark the end point of the solo. Press the middle space, or the space bar, or you can just press play on your computer. And that's where we end, right there. So I'm going to go into my loop section, set the end loop point, we can go back to the beginning of the loop point, and we can play this solo over and over and over. And as we get more and more proficient with the solo, we speed it up. Now that we've reduced the vocals and some other instruments and brought our tempo down to 50%, we're going to start to make heads or tails out of what's going on in the solo by being able to hear it note for note. We're going to do this in four sections, and here is the first section. Now that we know how that plays out, let's see how it sounds like on the guitar.
And then we can take that and we can practice it. And we practice it over and over. We can use a metronome. We can preferably use this program right here and just bump up our tempo little by little. Now we're going to set our loop points for the second section of four sections of this solo. Now let's see what that sounds like on the guitar. And now let's hear that second section at approximately full speed. Alright, now let's set the loop point for the third section of this four section solo. This is a little bit more intricate section because there is a grouping of five in it and because you can't necessarily hear that grouping of five unless you slow it down. As well, there's one little piece, one tiny section, where the string actually goes off of the fretboard completely on purpose. And that's another thing that just kind of flies by unless you get it down to a slower speed and isolate that instrument. So here it is slow. Now here is that same section three at full speed. All right, and last but not least, we're gonna set the loop points for the fourth and final section of the solo. All right, now let's see how that sounds on the guitar, and then we'll start putting it all together. Now here is section four at a faster speed. It should be close to the original speed. Now we're going to play sections one, two, three, and four a little bit faster. So this is how I use Song Surgeon, literally just about every day of my life. This is how I teach my students to use it, and use it every day that they practice. It's an invaluable tool, and dollar for dollar, there is nothing better I've ever been exposed to on the market that can do everything that Song Surgeon is doing. And I highly recommend it. I wouldn't trade it in for anything.